Hello friends, today we will see the procedure of determining the total leukocyte count, okay. For that first of all what are the apparatus or instruments we require? We require a microscope, Turks fluid which is the WBC diluting fluid, the composition of the WBC diluting fluid is 1% glacial acetic acid and 0.3% gentian violet. This glacial acetic acid will help in the destruction of the RBCs mainly, okay. And uh, this gentian violet will stain the nucleus of the WBCs. So, in this uh, glass bottle, we have already collected the gentian violet, okay. Now, the most important thing here is the hemocytometer. So, in this box, let us see what is there. There is a cover slip, then uh, new burst chamber, okay. New burst chamber, in fact, it is a improved new burst chamber. So, we have already discussed this in our last video of total RBC count, but still. Uh, we will just briefly describe this also. You can see the silver color. There are two stands or the platforms and which are separated by a head shaped groove, okay. If we place a cover slip over this improved nervous chamber, then you can see that this platforms, the silver color platforms are a bit lower level as compared to the C because of that groove. So, the depth of the cover slip is around 1 by 10 millimeter, okay. Now, Again, we have a WBC pipette. So, we have seen already a RBC pipette and this is a WBC pipette. So, what are the parts of the WBC pipette? So, this is the glass part, this is known as stem, this is the bulb, this is the rubber tube and this is the mouthpiece, okay. Now, in this bulb you can see there is a white color bead and this there is a graduation or the markings. So, the markings here are 0.5, this is the 0.5 then 1 and 11, okay. And instruments for sterile puncture, okay, that is a lancet and the spirit, swab, spirit and the cotton swabs. So, let us now start the procedure. So, with aseptic precautions, we have to clean the little finger, sorry, uh, we have to exclude the little finger and the index finger. We have to use either the middle finger, okay, or the ring finger. Yes. Now, when you with full asepsis, after that we have we have to use a lancet and prick the finger tip. Then you see the drop of blood will come, and that drop of blood first one or two drops we have to wipe it off, because this is mainly the tissue fluid. It contains this blood contains the tissue fluid. Now hold the mouthpiece in the mouth, and when this drop of blood comes here, just touch the tip of the pipette. Now, you can see the blood is moving inside the pipette. So, you have to collect up to the 0.5 mark. If at all there is an excess blood collected, you have to just uh, tap and withdraw that blood outside. So, because we have to collect the exact amount to calculate the number of cells in a known volume. So, immediately since we are not adding any anticoagulant here, this is the whole blood. So, we have to transfer it into turf fluid that is the WBC diluting fluid, okay, which we have collected in this clean glass bottle or you can use even a watch glass. Then immediately you should rinse it, pipette and suck the thing, the WBC diluting fluid up to 11 mark, okay. Now in the bulb that is in the center, bulge portion, you are having the blood 0.5 parts and the WBC diluting fluid, okay. Now, you have to close both the ends ideally, keep the pipette in the horizontal position and try to tight the one end and place the pipette in between the two palms and you have to mix the contents which are there in the bulb that is the blood and this WBC diluting fluid that is the terse fluid, okay. Mix it for a few seconds. Then you need to charge it. The charging is same like uh, charging which we saw in the total RBC count. Again, similarly, you have to keep a cover slip, you have to keep a cover slip on the improved Newburgh chamber. Then just bring the WBC pipette around, uh, first you have to discard the two drops because in the stem there is only the diluting fluid, not the mixture with blood, okay. Now after discarding two to three drops, just hold the pipette near the cover slip. Now you can see that drop of blood, the drop of blood is coming, it will automatically, it will go, okay, below the cover slip. That is ultimately the mixture, the fluid has gone 
in between the that platform silver color platform and a under surface of the cover slip. Now you have to shift this very carefully on the uh, microscope okay on the microscope here platform of the microscope and you have to focus under low power okay you know there is a low power high power and oil immersion objective lens this is the eyepiece lens then there is a coarse adjustment here fine adjustment and there is a condenser here to adjust the intensity of the light this is the condenser so you can uh, use this screw to adjust the height of the condenser then with the help of the coarse adjustment screw this one with with white pencil which i am showing coarse adjustment screw and the fine adjustment screw you have to focus it under the low power so once you focus it will appear like this under a microscope okay you can see uh, we are just uh, showing you the image okay not the exact what you see in the microscope but the cells will be very less as compared to the total uh, rbc count okay now uh, let us see the calculation part okay i'll show you this is the hemocytometer grid so you should know certain measurements to calculate the total wbc count so you know this four this whole grid is around 3 millimeter wide okay 3 millimeter by 3 millimeter so it is basically divided into nine squares of dimensions 1 millimeter by 1 millimeter that is this is around 1 millimeter again the width is around 1 millimeter so this one this one this is 1 millimeter 1 millimeter 1 millimeter so nine squares so this is one square this is one square this is one square totally nine square 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so nine squares are there out of this nine squares you have to count the wbcs in the corner four squares okay corner four squares wbc okay i'll just uh, draw that uh, wbc squares for you once again so that the concept will be more clear so uh, this is the upper left okay just uh, roughly i am drawing to save the time so in each of that squares uh, one one by millimeter square you can see uh, this is one millimeter this is one millimeter there are 16 again small squares or medium size square this is upper left then we have the upper right upper right totally 16 squares similarly we have lower left i am just drawing very fast so this is lower left and again you have each consists of 16 squares again you have lower right so the, suppose you get three cells here two cells here one cells here zero cells here again one whatever you get you have to write the sum of here so what the sum let us say it as a then again sum as b of this sum as c here sum as d so total number of the cells in the four wbc squares will be a plus b plus c plus d so let us assume it as totally whatever value you get as n okay now consider the calculations now how to calculate the so area of the four wbc square so four wbc squares means four into one wb square one wbc square area is length into breadth length is one millimeter breadth is also one millimeter so that is length into breadth that is four into length is one millimeter and breadth is also one millimeter so four wbc squares it is around 4 square millimeter so this is the area okay this is the area 4 square millimeter now let us consider the volume for the volume the formula is length into breadth into height so the 4 wbc squares we have a 4 into length is again 1 into 1 and height is around 1 by 10 millimeter so it is around 4 by 10 cubic millimeter okay cubic millimeter so this is the volume of four wbc squares that means this squares this one square this two square this three square this four squares totally four peripheral squares total volume is around four by ten cubic millimeter so in this volume how many wbc's are there ultimately we have to see but before that something known as dilution factor what is this dilution factor with the help of pipette let me explain you so if you see a pipette see pipette has markings 0.51 and 11 okay 
0.5, 1 and 11. So, ultimate mixture is in the bulb that is in between this 1 and 11. We are discarding this fluid, okay. We have seen in the procedure, we have discarded this first few drops. So, ultimate blood and the trust fluid is here. So, the total volume in parts is around 10 parts. So, it is 10 parts. In this 10 parts, 0.5 part is the blood, see. 0.5 part is the blood total mixture of 10. So, one part of the blood is diluted in 20 parts. That is why the dilution is 1 is to 20. In RBC count we have seen it is 1 is to 200. Now, cells in 4 by 10 cubic millimeter that is in all 4 WBC squares volume is how much N? N is A plus B plus C plus D that we have already seen. That is in the diluted blood, okay. So, Suppose in this volume that is 4 by 10 cubic millimeter total number of cells present is n. So, how much, how many cells will be present in 1 cubic millimeter volume? That will be around n into 10 by 4, okay. That is diluted blood. But you know the dilution factor is 1 is to 20. So, again we have to multiply it with 20. So, you will get in undiluted blood, 1 cubic millimeter volume of undiluted blood will be having n into 50. So, whatever value you get, you have to multiply it by 50. So, normal value will range between 4000 cells to 11000 cells, cells per cubic millimeter of undiluted blood that is the whole blood, okay. This is all about the total WBC count. Thank you.